Hello traders, Gary Wagner for Trending Markets just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York. We're looking at a Dow Jones Industrial Average that closed up pretty strong today, almost 300 points higher considering this following on the heels of a couple of days of dramatic downturns in the market. We're really looking at the market kind of flip-flopping back and forth, trying to find some kind of level ground. Now, in terms of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, 16,351. That is the close, as I said, almost 300 points to the upside. Standard & Poor's doing quite well also, up about 1.67% at 1948. And you can see when we look at that, we've got that same kind of scenario in which we had a dramatic down day followed by a dramatic update. Same can be said for crude oil. Crude oil right now, let's look at the pricing before we kind of dissect the chart, but in crude oil we're up again up 2% on the day. Nothing like the dramatic rises and falls we've seen where we've had 10% rises followed by 5 6% falls, but we are sitting at $46 and that's pretty strong. When we look at our daily chart, of course, you can see that we've had one of the most dramatic rises in oil prices in terms of the amplitude or the amount of rise that we've seen in a relatively short period of time, meaning three days. That, of course, took the market to just shy of $50 a barrel before faltering lower we've got some tentative support it's only a couple of days of data of course but some tentative support right around 44 dollars per barrel and we'll have to see if this level of support holds because if it does my sense is it will probably take it's going to obviously have to take a stab at 50 but we could see it begin to dramatically move back towards that 60 area which is where we had that rounded top now my sense is that we will see oil prices moving lower and the reason for that is that in you when you look at the fundamentals behind what's driving oil prices it's absolutely a supply demand scenario we are coming into the uh, end of summer we've got labor day coming up what next monday the official end of summer and from there we're going to have utilization really reduced from summer driving months and so i believe that that's going to put some sort of pressure on the market that along with the fact that you've got such uh, tremendous production going on globally my sense is that it's going to be hard-pressed to find some real support and to move up from there but when we look at our basic market in terms of technicals you you really only see a couple of areas that you really want to look at this at 42 of course is an important area we have this bottom down in here so this should provide in terms of a stronger level of support on a technical basis is a level of 42. We'd want to see if that's breached, of course. Then we have these series of bottoms here, and they come in right at the area that we're looking at, which is about $44 per barrel. So based upon uh, these two levels, if these two levels hold, we could see the market move up in the next real level that we're going to look at, which I believe is our current level of resistance, is just below $48 a barrel. And on a technical basis, it's based upon these recent lows that came in in April. Now, of the markets that we have been watching and following that I'm really looking for some sort of setup, I don't believe we have absolute clarity in terms of where that trend is going to go. As I said, in terms of the S&Ps, we have had a volatile market after this tremendous breakdown, followed by two days up and two days down, now one day up. That, when you define that, is not really a clear trend. Did we see a bottom in this market? Will we see this market move higher? We obviously see this rounded top here, but we got good support coming into it today. So we are going to sit on the sidelines there. The second market is crude oil. Although I believe crude oil is going to be headed lower, we've got to see with these recent rises if we have a basic 
change in terms of the perspective of traders out there because I, as I just mentioned I don't believe the fundamentals have changed all that much and based on those fundamentals I am looking for lower oil pricing but within the Standard & Poor's 500 and crude oil I believe that we need to sit on the sidelines and let the trends we're looking to develop kind of begin to unfold before we take a real stab at the market. Last thing we're looking at of course is the US dollar. A dollar is providing some strength today up about a half a percent but I believe that we could see some dollar weakness come into the market we do have again some sort of around the top right in here and so we've got a key area or key level that we'd have to breach before I could get bullish again on that market the market has been trading really in a defined range more than a real strong trend one way or the other that range has been 93 on the low side and 98 on the high side so I'm comfortable selling the market really at that 98 level I'm comfortable buying the market at roughly 93 but I'm not comfortable really entering the market at about 96 which is currently where we're at this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading we'll talk to you tomorrow for another trending markets bye-bye